New for Caterpillar this year is our auto adjustable compaction system. And that, that's a, the highest level of compaction control because it takes accelerometers and ECMs controlling independently both the front and the rear drum. Doing the same process of putting force into the ground, the response is actually measured. At that time, a calculation is made and it's a closed loop system. So based on the calculation, it will actually change the amplitude of the machine, delivering the highest level of force and amplitude that, that the layers will accept, which will drive the, the highest compaction and the quickest compaction. It's delivering the maximum effort. It takes it just short of the decoupling state is where you double bounce. And so that is the maximum energy that a layer of material will accept. When you get into a double bounce or a decoupling state, the drum is actually coming airborne and it becomes destructive to the machine and to the material at that point in time. The compaction system is actually monitoring that energy and adjusting that energy. The impacts are still, it's still a driver input. Generally a guideline that we, we give operators is maintain between 8 and 14. Ideally be at 10 to 12 impacts per foot. So every revolution of an eccentric weight will create what's called an impact. So in this case, this is a VersaVibe machine, so our highest frequency is 63.3 hertz or 3800 VPM, vibrations per second. So every vibration will create an impact. So operators moving at slow speeds will create much, much, much more than 14 impacts per foot because of this vibe system. But as they increase the paving speed, it's important to have a vibe frequency at a higher level so that the compactor, the effective compactor speed can be maintained and deliver the right impacts per foot.